Hello everyone, this is Siri Thuryang. This is a Maya tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to tell you how you can use modeling toolkit. This is an introduction tutorial so I will try to cover each and every option. So here we go. So for the modeling toolkit you can press here this is hammer like option hammer with Q. So just press it and you will get this option here so for that now I for making you understand I create a cube here so let's start from the first option here this is pick marquee and you can understand from here that it is for object it is for vertex it is edge and it is faces and this is for UV you can see that it is written here you can press F10 F9 and F8 for this option many of you the old Maya guys already know it so start from here this is pick mark you can see the difference like if I press pick here so if I drag it here like this it select uh, whatever the vertex I want to select like if I want to select this Two vertex it select this if I press drag you can see I can't do that from the drag you just select one or you can select like this so you have to drag for selecting it not like this it will select like this so just do left click and hold left click and just drag it like this you can see it is your vertex is converting into red it means you just select it and just leave your mouse so it will select your vertices so it will go through each and every like this if you select here you can see so drag option is something like this if you do it pick mark it so you can select you can select like this directly this is our tweak if you tweak here you don't get any uh, move to you don't get any move to rotation or scale if you press anything you won't get if you press W if you select the and press W it won't let you to get move to so if you go here and press nothing is working because this option tweak doesn't work like that so if you press here like this and you move it it will let you tweak like uh, like in ZBrush you have move brush so it will work like that so just select it and just tweak where you want and for the move tool if you go here you will get move tool you will get uh, move tool in drag also but not in tweak so in tweak you will work without move tool and rotation uh, we can check rotation also if you press rotation it is not visible so if I select this and rotate it uh, it is very weird to work so this is how these options are now I come here with camera based projection or I just undo it or I can delete it because everything is messed up so this time I select a cylinder a sphere sorry you can see here here we have multi component so you can see that it selected each and every three option these so you can understand that from this option you can select everything like you can select face edge uh, face edge and vertex vertex at a time so this is how it is going to work and you can use it tweak this option works in every 
option here so you can select mesh your edge and your vertex at same time okay so now let's move on camera based selection uh, if you see here it is already off so I try to make you understand like if I drag it like this you can see that each and every vertex is selected your back side selection also you get so if I do it on it won't select your back faces so it is like same option uh, if you are a max user so there we have option same kind of option uh, that is force two sided I think if I am wrong please write me in comment uh, in, uh, in Maya it is like camera based selection if you do it on if you do it off it will select each and every and if you do it auto I don't know it is not selecting I think auto means it will select according to scenario so right now it is not selecting so if I do auto I think mainly it won't select the back side so okay we are done with this so I switch it off and now you have this option this is symmetry you have symmetry in all axis uh, symmetry if you have used Maya you know that how you do symmetry in Maya the old method is you do remove it and and from the edit here you have duplicate spatial and uh, you do it instance do it <clears throat> do it minus in z axis what in whatever axis you want and now you use your symmetry so this is totally different so i just undo it uh, in this option you don't need to delete your face so what you have to do is just select this and in whatever axis you want your symmetry you just need to on that so just click here and I want my symmetry in X axis you can see this is my X axis so just do it X your symmetry is on if I select here you can see it is doing symmetry without any another mesh I don't need to use duplicate spatial for this so this option symmetry you got here is the older option and its name was reflection in previous world and you got you used to got this option here in uh, move tool if you do double click here you can see you have this symmetry setting here also so it used to be a reflection setting so one more uh, thing I need to tell you that if you I move it aside like here uh, if you do it object X so it will work it should work according to, to the object so like you see here so it is working according to, to the object axis if I do it word it won't work here because if you do it word it should this object should be in middle of grid so like if I do it in middle of grid I do it zero and I again come here so if I go in vertex yeah so you can see that if you are in middle of grid and you do this word x or anything y or z anything so it will work according to the grid and if you are doing object x it should work according to the object it doesn't matter if it is in 
middle of grid or not if i do it topology and then i select this so you can see here this is the mesh i have selected and if i do it vertex so you can see here it is selecting according to the mesh sometime you don't want your symmetry according to the axis and this topology thing is working for you like uh, you don't want it in x or y or z axis you want in x y x z or x z so maybe it can help there but you need to check is it working in that direction or not so that's a question so we are done with topology also and now we have this option it is selection constraint so it is a very interesting option and this is a new option uh, like if I do it angle you can give angle here it is 20 right now if I do it vertex you can see according to the angle how much area it is selecting so according to the angle it is giving me this bunch of selection if I do it 90 let's see how does it work it is giving me 90 per 90 percent sorry 90 degree of selection if I do it 45 it is giving 45 so it depends on angle how much you want and, uh, and uh, if I do 180 it is giving almost whole sphere so if you want you can use it like this now I come here in border uh, if you see here it is not selecting here because we don't have border here so for the border first for you all I create a border so I just delete it so now we have border here this border option is already there in max 3d max if you are 3d max user you may know it already so if I do it border here and I go in edges so you can see that it is selecting your border here and if I go in vertex it is selecting vertex if I go in face it is selecting faces if I do it UV right now I think it is not it doesn't have any UV proper UV for this so it is not selecting anything so I hope you understood how does it work now I come here in edge loop for edge loop you need to go in edge you can understand from name here edge loop so you can see that it is selecting my whole edge loop okay so now I go ahead and edge ring this is my ring uh, edge ring and if I go here it is not working in poly because it is edge loop not poly loop okay so now I go here in ring this is my ring if I do it face it is not selecting because it is a edge ring now I go here in shell so shell means it is selecting whole shell whether it is your vertex or <clears throat> it is your edge it is selecting everything I hope you understood this much so our next option is this is transform constraint and for this I think this object is correct so if you do it edge uh, normally what happens first I off it if I move it here oops, if I move it here like this it is going according to the axis you can see it is going straight in y-axis and if I do it on like edge slide so it will go up but according to the edge 
you can see here it is very good for organic modeling if you don't want to spoil your shape so it is edge it will go according to the edge or like this in any direction you want like this okay and uh, we have here the uh, surface slide yeah surface slide is also similar but it works on surface like it will slide over surface you can see it is not going up it is sliding on your surface okay you can see that it is sliding here on surface I'm spoiling my mesh to make you understand <laughs> okay so I hope you understand this and now we have our next option that is soft selection this is very old option and you got here directly because it is very important option in modeling uh, especially in organic modeling you can use in hard surface also depends it depends actually so this is our soft selection oops uh, it is on what surface right now so I off it so nothing new here actually so this is soft selection and you can use a shortcut that is B for switching it on and off B and for increasing your range you can press you need to hold your B and your middle click of your mouse and then press and just drag it drag down drag right drag left okay drag right drag left okay so I hope you understood this so you can uh, do from here also if you give it one value it will work from here also and if you go here in move you have this option here also from here also you can increase and decrease so you can give value here also so same option are here and here are same option you can get little more option here like curves and all you can get more option here but the these options are good enough to use uh, what more should I tell you okay like it has four option here what its use so I need two objects so I just click here this is my one object this is my another object and I want to combine this so we have combine option here uh, you already know how to combine it you if you are old and you can do shift right click and this is your option combine okay I hope you saw that so now we go here this is soft selection this is our volume so if I do it volume and I select this you can see that it is its selection is going in another object also however it is combined but it is going like this uh, if I do it surface you can understand much better now if you see that if I did surface it is not affecting my another object okay I hope you understand uh, now it is object if I do object it is selecting my whole object okay it was pretty simple and if I do it global so you can see that it is working like your surface oops 
it is working like your volume sorry to say that but here is a twist actually what here what is that uh, global works differently how it looks so I just separate it from here okay I just separate it and if I select this this is my global okay I selected my object in object mode but it's still it is showing soft selection here so it works according to the object if I select this it is affecting this object so this is how it works and volume works differently for the volume you need to combine both mesh and for the global it doesn't really matter to it it just work according to the mesh okay so this was the advantage you get from the global if you select this it is going to work if you are in object mode also it is going to affect it so this was the added advantage of global I hope you understood the difference between volume and global so we are done with these four options here and now I switch off the curve I think you can play with it you have many option here also you can try yourself which preset is good for you so I hope you will do it yourself so now I come here in these options these options are very familiar to you you already know this is combine combine you got here you can get uh, <clears throat> from here this is your combine this is your same option separate and this is your same option smooth and your boolean is here so these option you already know how to use it but if you are new I'm going to tell you now so just and uh, these option you can get from shift and right click also you can see here that it is smooth you got combine you got separate smooth and you got boolean also so shift and right click of your mouse so you got four option from here if you want to do it fast okay I hope you understood and now I'm going to tell you how to use it for the new Maya users so this is just click here do it right like this and do it combine it combine your whole mesh if you select this okay and if you want to separate it again you can do it separate it separated it okay now if you want to add more segments with smooth i tell you how is it going to work like i press this so if i increase right now it is looking weird if i do it five actually you shouldn't do it this much i do it three so you can see that it is pretty round actually this is not good mesh to tell you how is it work so you need to know little sculpt little modeling for this so i hope you understood smooth how does it work i will tell you more later after telling you more options so this is how smooth works and for the boolean uh, i think this is already so just select this and then select this and do it boolean so here we got option this is union this is difference you can see that here it created difference and this is my intersection the so both mesh wherever the intersecting it just leave the mesh that much mesh so union just 
<clears throat> it just remove the inner section whatever the match were intersecting and just united that okay i hope you understood uh, i want to clear you again if you want to make boolean here so select this first then this now do it boolean do it difference now you can see that you wanted to create sphere here so you need to select first your cylinder if you want to make cylindrical shape in your sphere you need to select your sphere first this is how it works i hope you understood and now you got your boolean and this is time for your extrude uh, extrude i tell you just remove my surface and i i can tell you in two ways extrude you can extrude your faces like i select this i told you uh, for the extrude also you can you can go here in this option this is edit mesh this is your extrude and you can so from the shift and right click you got this option this is extrude so extrude face and extrude is similar you can extrude your edges also so if you do it shift right click this is extrude edge so this option work in both for the face extrude you need to select this and do your extrude just drag it out this was your face extrude if you want to extrude your edge just go in your edge you can go from here also or you can do <clears throat> you can do right click and drag up so i'm just do, going from here just select here and now come here and extrude just do it like this it is going here according to, to the flow because you we have extruded here if you don't want this you can do one more thing it is just select your edge okay now extrude it press w now now you can move it so it's not going to spoil that okay so this is our extrude now we need to go here in bevel bevel how does it work you get this option from here this is your bevel okay and you can get from here also this is your bevel so just select this and just do it bevel like this and from the fraction you can increase and decrease the bevel size it is going on one you can do it three also but here it is spoiling you need to tweak it manually and you can give segments like this so for the bevel i take a new mesh i want to tell you one more thing i take a cube so like if i bevel here i selected the edge and did bevel here and from the fraction i give segments okay if i do it depth minus one it's going inside so this is a pretty good option okay if i do it off it's not going to create roundness if i do chamfer off if i do it on it's going to give me round shape okay so if you just want to add segments you can off it if you don't want just on it and for depth you can use this and for the fraction you can use this okay
Uh, we have one more option. I need to tell you like you don't get that option here. For that you need to go here. This is you will get more option here. So what the thing is okay I did this and if I do it off let's do it off okay if I do fraction this fraction is not going to work if I do it off here what you have to do is you need to use offset but what will happen from the offset you can see that it is going beyond your mesh so sometime this option is very good to create these structures like this you can use it like this so if you want to create a shape like this with here it's gonna work if you do it on this offset is not going to work okay fraction is not going to work you can add segments depth you can control your depth fraction is not going to work you can control your depth from here okay if I do it on so fraction controls your curviness if I do it off your depth control your curviness so this is little complicated uh, you can understand it after using it and here you have this is merge vertex uh, this is how it work I need to on this like if you have done this much your vert merge vertex is on if you see here your vertex are merge if I don't want that you can switch off that uh, this is my merge vertex do it switch off now it won't merge it let's check it so it didn't merge okay so these are depth thing many of you may don't know if you know that is fine and uh, now we're going to use bridge how it's gonna work just create a box cylinder so this is how it works you need to first combine your mesh and now select your this face and this face and now do it bridge so it created a bridge between mesh and from here you can give segments in between you can twist it if taper want to work it will let you work like this taper it doesn't have much segment here so it's not letting you work much so twist is going to work like this bridge offset is like this vertex is going to merge here this should come here so it you need to do it five if you do it four it will go down it will if you do it three it will go that side which is wrong so this is how going to work and if you do it blend so it will create some bulginess it is linear it is blend it will try to give some 
roundness like this if you do it curve it will go according to the curve so i'm not going to do that for now i think this much is good enough and now and for a division i'm going to create a new box here like this so for that division you can see it's going to add segment just click here it's gonna add segment here you can increase segments your divisions you can see also so you can increase from here it is a little different from your smooth smooth work like this it's gonna round your mesh so it is different from add division okay so we are done with add division now we have this multi cut option so just press this and you can get this option from shift and for that you need to select your mesh shift right click so this is your multi cut tool you got you get it from here also so how does it work it is very simple tool you just need you can create your segments manually wherever you want to do it it is pretty similar like split vertex to split edge or vertex i don't know i forgot that so it is multi cut split cut maybe i don't know so it is very simple tool you can create your cuts manually and if you want it have more features like if you want to <clears throat> if you want to add a loop so just select here select multi cut and press control you can see that it is giving you a loop just press control and left click left click left click it will give you a very nice loop and if you want to create any weird hole like i'm doing here right now so you can create your points between your face also and you want to remove it this is how we can use it and one more thing we can do that is you can create if you you can create a straight edge also like if i want to create a cut straight from here to there you can do that also so for that you need to just click here click here so you can see that it created a line which has two points and you can add it also if you want to keep this here anywhere you want you are satisfied with this press w it will create cut you can do same you can do same here also if you want to add it you can edit it you can add oops so it is a very handy option you can use like this this is my favorite tool right now in my so this is how you can use it so this was your multi cut tool and now this is your target weld for the target weld you need to just select here and the first previously it, its name was merge vertex tool go from here this is my vertex shift this is this target well tool used to be merge vertex tool so how does it work you just need to select this select from left click just hold it and now come up to here and just release hold your left come here 
just two years so it's going to well also it's merge your vertices also okay so this is very nice tool this was our target weld now we are going to use connect tool for that i'm going to take a new object i took a sphere and for the connect tool if i go in vertices so just i select this and if i do select my vertex and press shift and again i select this like this like this like this like this like this it's going to connect my all vertices and now i'm satisfied do it double it's gonna create okay so let's do it again it's not going to work like this here because it has this segment here so so you need to check it how it's going to work for you not in between okay i hope you understood now you can do it in edge also come here in edge again select your connect if i do select this and do connect it's gonna create whole loop i don't want this much so select another whatever you want it created this much only same it's gonna do in face also just select this connect select 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 it works same in connect also faces also okay so this was our connect tool so i'm going to delete this now now we come here this is our option quadro for using it you need to press here just do left click and from the left click you create points here which is little weird for the first time because i want to create face here so for creating face you need to press shift and you can see the preview now do it left click so this is how you created your face and if you want to extend this you need to press quadro again and do points again press shift you can and uh, from the left click you can move your points and again if you want to create do left create two points again do shift so this is how you can extend it there is one more method you can do for extending your mesh for that you need to press tab hold your tab and you can see that here is option extend so just hold your tab and left click of mouse for extending it hold your tab extend it out hold your tab extend it out so this is how you can extend it and if you want to extend in whole loop so you need to press tab and do it middle click tab and middle click so from the middle click you can extend the whole loop and for putting a loop here you can do control so you can use it for looping it so just press control and left click press control and left click this is how you can add loops and if you want to remove it press control shift so you can see here is the cross option so just do left click just do left click so this is how you can remove loop and you can remove polys also using control shift just left click left click left click left click okay you can use this option for creating your topology i show you how you can do that for that I need a mesh 
so I'm going to import face I just import here so you have seen it many times uh, I do grouping first control G for grouping it and now I select this and I want to you can see that how its loop is I want to create a new topology of it so for that you need to make it make live so this is your option make live so you did this make live and now your quadro and press tab so you can see here this is your cube this is a face so just click it here it will create a face and now you can tweak it if you don't want to use it you can do your the another method you can create points like this and press shift click it will create it like this so this was two methods and for creating face you need to press tab and for this you can create points directly and now i want to extend this so press tab and select your edge now extend it press tab extend it now tweak it <laughs> extend it tweak it extend it tweak it extend it tweak it you need to know how the topology should so i'm just doing it rough to make you understand how it's going to look extend tweak just do it like this extend tweak extend tweak and so it is very simple method to create topology and if you go near to this it should snap it here it should weld it here but i have already off this auto weld you can on this if you on this you it will automatically merge your vertices so this is how you can create your topology and if you want to do it more do it like this do it like this here and if you want to extrude whole loop press tab and middle close middle click of your mouse do it extend like this and do it weld here you need to just tweak you need to know how the topology should look like and it is very easy method to do So I hope you understood how you can create topology using this method and this is very very important method and if you want to relax it you can press shift you can relax it if you feel that something is wrong you can do that here. and you can do loop or anything like that
which I told you that mid from middle click of your mouse you can do you have option here also and you see that its size of mesh you can control from here if it is 15 it is this much small and if it is 83 it is this much you get this from pressing tab so this is how you can use your options and if you want to know the short keys you have all the short keys here and if you want to clear dots like you created here if you want to clear that you can do from here clear dots it will clear all remaining dots unwanted dots so this is it for the tutorial i hope you like it please don't forget to share like comment and subscribe please do share our videos because knowledge should reach each and every one of you thank you very much and wait for upcoming tutorial and one more information for you all guys because of your love and support uh, i have created a website which you can check out uh, it has many topics many tutorials many interesting videos you can watch so keep supporting and we are going to make a good and supporting community i hope you all will support me thank you very much keep supporting